Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I will be making today just a simple plain biscuit and I'm going to drizzle some chocolate over it. And why I'm saying plain simple? Because I'm using of whatever ingredients I still have in the cupboard and the fridge. You guys know it's almost month end and the cassis are, are almost empty and the pennies are very low. <laughs> And one thing um, our late mom taught us, and we grew up extremely, um, uh, with not much, you know, very poor. And she would scratch out a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and and magic would happen, and we would have something to nibble on, or, or whatever the case may be. So, if you feel like, oh, I want to make something liquor for the kids or for the family, but... Oh, I don't have all the ingredients and I don't have enough money. It doesn't have to cost much. Ne? So I just scratched this out here from my cupboard. And as you can see, very, very few ingredients. But there will be something liquor sweet and yummy to to um, munch on later for, for the family or the kids. So I'll get started. So here I've got 130 grams of softened butter. I was supposed to have 150, but I don't have. So, see, let's wait. I can tell you this. It's running low. No, it's running low. <laughs> so, I'm going to use this and I'm going to see how it comes out. That's the softened butter. And here's my one cup of sugar. Just regular sugar. And I'm going to mix this together. So, I'm going to use this. You can use a wooden spoon. And just get this all mixed up and you've got a tablespoon of oil there we go now mixing this up and the whole intention is while the family is still sleeping or the intention that's the important thing while they're sleeping you're thinking oh when they wake up i want them to smell the aroma of the biscuit you know and not still be bothered about anything that's going on outside in the world. Just some creating some liquor memories with not much. <laughs> okay, they have mixed that through. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a mix stall. I'm not even gonna use my whisk. This is fine for me. Now one egg. I keep the other egg for me because I'm going to fry it later for me on a slice of toast. And then my eggs are done. It could mix me with me. Alles op. <laughs> Look how the color is changing. Uh, I find so much solace and peat peace in baking really it just relaxes me and takes me to another world and usually when I do my thing I put on music and I sing along but I can't do that you guys must know Facebook and YouTube they kick your video out if you play music in the background <laughs> okay I like that and now I've got, this is two and a half cups of flour, but I will measure it quickly and I will just feel the consistency of this, um, of this dough and then I'll see if I like how it, where it goes. So I'll take half of this and I'll just um, sift it in there. Okay. Can you guys see? Okay. I'll just mix this through. Okay. And this is a half a teaspoon of baking powder. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's the vanilla still. Oh, yeah, then. Mix it through. That is a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Yena khaja. Okay. And 
I'm going to throw in another little. Okay. So not a lot of flour went in. This is more or less a cup that's still in here. So I've used a cup and a quarter to get to this consistency. As I said, your liquid, your butter, all that makes a big difference on how your dough is going to come out. Now I'm just going to gather this all together. Yes. Now when your hand comes from your dough clean, then you know, okay, your consistency is right. Ne? And that's how you come up with new recipes with whatever you have in the cupboard. Say for instance, this recipe asked for this and that and that. And now you see, oh my word, I only have half of it. Ne? And then you play around with it like me, playing around with whatever I had in the cupboard. And look at this dough. There's your dough. So I'm gonna let this rest just for a few five to ten minutes in the fridge with cling wrap and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so my dough have rested and I'm just gonna flour my surface. Okay, I'm gonna switch on the oven 180 degrees now. And I'm going to use this hot cookie cutter <laughs> flour on there. And here's my rolling pin. Um, yeah, this was Layla's. Actually, is Layla's, my daughter. I bought it for when she was about five and she used to bake with me. Then my rolling pin broke. And I've been using this ever since. <laughs> uh, uh, I like how this dough came out mm. don't you think it's so rewarding to roll out dough I like how this came out so you all got that ne? the ingredients that we threw in here roll it out and I'm just going to see if this is what I want, the thickness of it. Yes, I like this. Okay. So I'm going to dip my cookie cutter into the flour. And I'm going to start. You see there? And I just put it here on my tray. Now, because there's a lot of flour at the bottom, I don't butter my baking tray, ne? And then, there we have biscuits again. <laughs> and just place it in between nicely. Eh? Because remember, I threw in some baking powder, so it will spread a little bit, but not too much. I'll do the rest, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. I got quite a few biscuits out. And I have a little bit still left. This the kids can do their own little patterns with this later. You can put it away. And um, I've got the small piece of um, baking chocolate that I'm going to melt and drizzle over here later. But if you have anything else that you have in the cupboard, put it on. Anything that goes nice on the biscuit. So this is going to go in the oven for 12 minutes, depending on your oven. 12 to 50 minutes for the most. And then you take it out and let it cool and put on your thingies. Ne? And I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. Now my um, biscuits have cooled down completely. As you can see, look at this nice golden color. I like how it came out. And yeah, I took some cooking chocolate, baking chocolate as is. And I've melted it in the microwave. And this is quite sweet. Me. So what I do, another tip that I want to share with you, I take some cocoa, tablespoon, and I mix it with the baking chocolate and then it gets a nice 
flavor it adds flavor and it adds um, a little bit of bitterness there we go I like that and can you see the, the that's what I will use now but as I said you can use whichever toppings you like or you can leave it just as plain as this so I'm gonna just take a little and just show you it's more on the tray here and I'll just drizzle a little bit of chocolate over here give it a nice drizzle see there hmm Or I'll use my biscuit and I'll dip it in here. Let me just take the spoon out here. I'll dip it halfway in. And see there. There we go. And I'll let it cool off. And you can do whichever pattern you like. And I'll just do the rest. And I'll be back. <laughs> There you go, guys. Lick of biscuits with a few ingredients. I hope you guys enjoyed the, this video. And I enjoyed making it for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.